Hello there, this is Stephen Thompson. I'm the host of the Stephen Thompson Experience. I podcast, I blog, and I make YouTube videos. And the video series that I'm doing right now is on educator wellness. So if you're a teacher, if you're a school administrator, I want to talk about some tips and techniques that I use for my well-being. Because we know right now that there are teacher shortages, there are people leaving the field, there are people not going into the field, but we do need people in the field because children continue to be born and those children that continue to be born need to be educated. And if there's one thing we all have in common is that all of us have been to school in one form, shape, or another. That means homeschooling, that means private schooling, that means public schooling. So all of us have that experience. Now, if you're an educator, you are needed and you are valued. If you don't hear that in your place of employment, you're hearing that from me, okay? You are needed and you are valued. So one thing that I do is I have to create separation between my job and my home life. And that means two things that I do. I don't work at night and I don't work on the weekends. Now that took a lot for me to be able to do because I believed at one point in my career that if I were dedicated, I would work nights and weekends. And I thought that people would look down on me if I didn't work nights and weekends. But then I began to realize that that was unhealthy. Also, I knew that if I were organized and disciplined, I could accomplish all of the work that I needed to accomplish during the time that I'm at work. So I may come in an hour early, I may stay a half hour late, and I would finish everything that I needed to finish. And there are two things that I did. Number one, I have a separate phone. I have my work phone and I have my personal phone. My work activities are not on my personal phone. That means I do not have work email on my personal phone. I only have people who need to get in touch with me in an emergency, other administrators on my personal phone. Everything on my work phone, my work Google Drive, my work contacts, my work email, it's all on my work phone, which I put away at night and I don't open it up until the next day. That's the first thing I do. The second thing I do is I don't bring my work computer home unless there is an emergency. For example, the last time I brought my work computer home, I felt myself getting sick and I thought I'm probably gonna end up having COVID, so I'm gonna need to have my work computer with me. And lo and behold, I ended up getting COVID. So I had my work computer at home so I could work from home. But if I don't need my work computer at home, I don't bring it home. I don't bring it home on the weekend, I don't bring it home at night. For example, I look at it this way. In college, I used to work at McDonald's. I could not bring McDonald's home with me. It had to stay at McDonald's, okay? But as an educator, I allow my work to creep into my weekend and nightlife. Don't do that. So you can either be a person who quits cold turkey or you can quit in small, gradual steps. Whichever your personality is, work towards it that way. Don't get discouraged if you mess up, but work towards it. So work towards not working at night and work towards not working on the weekends. Now, if you have to and you want to and you enjoy it, then do it. But if you want to have more wellness and feel better and recharge, you have to create some separation. So that's my tip. Separate work phone, don't work at night, don't work on the weekends, organize yourself so you can get everything accomplished during your work day. Abandon the belief that other people will think that you're not dedicated or other people will think that you're not working hard enough. Abandon that belief. Who cares what other people think of you? I had to get to that point. It took me a long time to get there, but I think I'm there now. So anyway, that's what I have for you. So try those two things. 
That will increase your wellness as an educator. Stephen Thompson, take care. Bye-bye.